Non-fungible tokens or NFTs are one of the most popular investments of the moment. Many people have made fortunes from buying and selling these futuristic-looking digital creations. Other than the hype surrounding them, it remains that it's complex to identify which NFTs will increase in value over time, just as it can be difficult to assess the exact value of a work of art. We have a simple solution to that issue, instead of purchasing NFTs, simply invest in projects that work on NFTs. As such, you gain indirect exposure to NFTs while investing in something that is simpler to analyze. Interested? Have a read. The Sandbox. A pioneering initiative in the metaverse and play-to-earn space, the Sandbox is a game-changing platform. Sandbox created a blockchain-based environment in which players can manage characters, purchase and exchange items of varying rarity, and otherwise interact with one another using Sand, the Sandbox's native coin. The Sandbox's name has now become synonymous with one of the most spectacular success stories of the last few years, notably alongside Decentraland. In fact, the Sandbox created an industry-leading metaverse that rapidly drew the attention of prominent investors, corporations, and celebrities, all of whom were eager to participate. The Sandbox metaverse contains 166,464 NFT-based, cryptographically secured, lands, that's how the Sandbox's plots of land are called. These lands can either be purchased directly from the Sandbox's website or from NFT marketplaces such as OpenSea. The Sandbox's universe particularly seduced the crypto community due to the possibility to purchase, sell, and even rent and build on these virtual land parcels, creating endless possibilities. The metaverse is unquestionably an intriguing domain with a great deal of room for development and potential for huge expansion in the future. According to Goldman Sachs, the metaverse is an $8 trillion market, and holding some sand allows you to get exposure to that. ApeCoin ApeCoin is one of the most recent crazy crypto tales. Having started trading three weeks ago, it performed over 1-200 yuzda within its very first trading days. ApeCoin is based on Yuga Labs' Board Apes Yacht Club and ambitions to expand the fast-growing APE ecosystem. To this day, BAYC remains one of the most popular NFT collections ever made, with several famous personalities buying one or several Board Apes for themselves. Did you know that owning a Board Ape NFT is not limited to the simple ownership of the NFT? Owning a BAYC slash MAYC NFT allows its owner to be invited to exclusive events in mansions and other yacht parties. APE is an Ethereum native utility token that gives access to special services and games in the APE ecosystem. Besides, APE includes governance features which enable its holders to influence and make suggestions on the development of ApeCoin's decentralized autonomous organization, ApeDAO. APE experienced an explosive start that seems to have lost some steam in the past 10 days. Now trading around $11 mark, this cryptocurrency appears a little more affordable and provides strong exposure to the underlying BAYC NFT collection. Quitrium Finance Quitrium Finance is a project that ambitions to be the next generation decentralized automated market maker. An AMM is a crucial part in any decentralized exchange, which essentially ensures that there is always enough liquidity within the DX to allow for smooth trading. Uniswap and PancakeSwap are two of the most well-known AMMs in the crypto world. In this way, AMMs are often linked to decentralized finance, which is a new type of finance that, among other things, aims to get rid of financial middlemen, by resorting to smart contracts instead. This emerging project is now going through its pre-sale, selling its native token, QTM, for $0.000011 apiece. Pre-sales are often interesting because they give you access to projects before their official launch, giving you a chance to maximize your returns if the project is successful. Naturally, pre-sales are riskier investments as the projects haven't proved their worth yet, hence the need to conduct thorough research beforehand. Quitrium Finance's white paper shows strong ambitions, on top of its DX, Quitrium Finance wants to develop a decentralized lending protocol where users can deposit assets and earn interest from them, and even an NFT marketplace. Holding some QTM would therefore give you exposure to NFTs. If you are curious, another similar NFT-focused and Solana-based project currently in its pre-sale stage is Pac-Man Frog. 
This project is aimed at driving Web 3.0 initiatives and goes even further than Quitrium Finance in terms of NFT-related initiatives.